How's it going everyone? This is Astro here again, and welcome back to another Splatoon weapon analysis video. Today's video is going to be all about the Octobrush Nouveau, so let's get started by taking a look at this weapon's typing, stats, and version history. So to start things off, the Octobrush Nouveau is a main roller type weapon in Splatoon that was introduced in version 2.4 as free DLC. It can be purchased from the Ammo Knight store for a value of 9,500 coins once you have reached level 16. As for its stats, the Octobrush Nouveau shares the same stats as the vanilla Octobrush. Having a range of 25, ink speed and weight of 80, splash damage of 37, and a roll damage of 25. Its main difference now lies within its weapon kit. So for its sub-weapon, the Octobrush Nouveau receives the Splat Bomb, which is a bomb that can be used in various ways, such as flushing enemies out of their hiding spots, as well as cutting off their escape routes. As for its special weapon, the Octobrush Nouveau receives the Ink Zooka, which is a special that greatly extends the Octobrush Nouveau's range by allowing you to pick off enemies at faraway distances. So overall, the Octobrush Nouveau is a unique weapon that can be a lethal assassination tool in the right hands. And coupling it together with its weapon kit, you'll be able to fight pretty effectively at any range, whether it's up close with the Splat Bomb or farther away with the Ink Zooka. As for its version history, the Octobrush Nouveau shares the same changes as the vanilla Octobrush. So you'll still receive the benefit of painting the ground underneath your feet while using your swinging attack, which can come in handy if you find yourself accidentally stuck in enemy ink. Also, with the introduction of Special Depletion, the Octobrush Nouveau was placed in the Light category, which means you'll be losing as low as 40% of your Special Meter in the event you get splatted. As for the Ink Zooka, you'll have to ink a little more turf to fill your special gauge, but you can use some special charge up to mitigate that loss if you choose to do so. Also, the time needed to fire off the first shot of the Ink Zooka will be a little bit longer, so you'll need to find a safe place to activate the special before you start taking action. And finally, you'll be able to fire off an extra shot or two if you have special duration up equipped on your gear. As for recommended abilities to use on your gear, any of the ink efficiency abilities such as Ink Saver Main, Ink Saver Sub, or Ink Recovery Up is recommended to retain as much ink as possible since rollers in general and the splat bombs consume a lot of ink. Damage Up can support the falloff damage of your ink flicks, and Swim Speed Up can help you move around the stage. So with that, let's take a look at the first gear build that I have for you in this video. So this first build is a general purpose build that the Octobrush Nouveau can use. So we're going to begin by selecting our headgear, which will be in the form of the Snorkel Mask or the White Headband. The Snorkel Mask uses damage up for its main ability, and it features the Forge brand, which highly favors special duration up, whereas the White Headband uses ink recovery up for its main ability, and it features the Squid Force brand, which highly favors damage up. As for our clothes, we're going to be using the Rainy Day T, which uses Ink Saver Main for its main ability, and it features the Crack On brand, which highly favors swim speed up. And finally, for our shoes, we're going to be using the Plum Casuals, which uses Damage Up for its main ability, and it features the Crack On brand, which highly favors swim speed up. So, you may have noticed that this is the same general purpose build that I used in my analysis of the Vanilla Octobrush and it works just as well with the Octobrush Nouveau. The stacks of damage up on your headgear and shoes will help with the falloff damage of the weapon, ensuring that you get that 3-hit splat as frequently as possible. The stacks of swim speed on your clothes and shoes will help you swim strafe your enemies when you're on the offensive and reposition yourself when you're on the defensive. Your selection of headgear comes down to how you want to support the weapon kit. If you decide to use the Snorkel Mask, you can use the Special Duration Up to fire off an extra shot with the Ink Zooka. Whereas if you decide to use the White Headband, you could combine Ink Recovery Up 
with InkSaver Main to manage your ink after using a splat bomb. Up next, I have one of two stealth builds for the Octobrush Nouveau to use, and this first build will use stealth in the form of Ninja Squid. We'll still be using the Plum Casuals for our shoes, however for our headgear we can use the Stealth Goggles or the Camo Mesh. Both of them use Swim Speed Up for their main abilities, however the Stealth Goggles features the Forge brand which highly favors Special Duration Up, whereas the Camo Mesh features the Fire Fin brand which highly favors Ink Saver Sub. As for our clothes, we're going to use the White Anchor T, which uses Ninja Squid for its main ability, and it features the Squid Force brand, which highly favors damage up. So once again, this is a build that, in my opinion, works pretty well with both versions of the Octobrush. The stacks of damage up on your clothes and shoes will help with falloff damage to maintain your 3-hit splat. Your selection of headgear, once again, will determine how you want to support the weapon kit. If you decide to use the stealth goggles, you can use the special duration up to fire off one more shot with the ink zuga. If you decide to use the camo mesh, you can use the ink saver sub to retain as much ink as possible after using the splat bomb. And finally, the ninja squid on your clothes will completely eliminate any ripples that you leave behind while swimming on the ground allowing you to get the splat as quietly as possible. However, your swim speed will be decreased by 10%, so the stacks of swim speed on your headgear and shoes will mitigate that loss, as well as help you reposition yourself. Also, do keep in mind that your ripples will be visible when you swim along a wall, and you will be marked by echolocators, point sensors, and haunt. So if that's a concern for you, I've designed an alternate build that accomplishes the same purpose, but uses stealth in the form of cold-blooded. So for this build, we'll be using the snorkel mask and the plum casuals from the general purpose build. However, for our clothes, we're going to use the sage polo, which uses cold-blooded for its main ability, and it features the splash mob brand, which highly favors ink saver main. So this build tries to cover all the bases of the Octobrush Nouveau in terms of functionality and stealth. The stacks of damage up on your headgear and shoes will, once again, support the weapon's falloff damage and 3-hit splat. The special duration up will allow you to fire off one more shot with the Ink Zuka. The Ink Saver main will help you retain as much ink as possible after using the splat bomb. The swim speed up will help you with repositioning and Cold-Blooded will give you coverage against all the tracking weapons and abilities. So hopefully, these builds should give you an idea as to how you can use this weapon effectively. You can take your pick, and feel free to modify it in a way that works best for your playstyle. But anyways everyone, that's the end of this video, so I'd like to thank you all for watching my analysis on the Octobrush Nouveau. I hope you found all of this information useful, if you did, be sure to give this video a thumbs up, as well as sound off your thoughts on this weapon in the comment section below. Also, if there's something that you think I forgot to mention in this presentation, feel free to include that in the comments as well. And if you're new to the channel and you like what you see, subscribe for more videos in the future, as well as ring the notification bell to know when I upload new videos. So until next time, this is Astro, blasting off, and as always, take care, stay fresh, and I hope you all have a great day.